and welcome to one of Exitech's AutoCAD 2020 new features videos. My name is Terry Dean and I'm one of the application specialists here at Exitech. This video focuses upon a new palette called Blocks. The new palette could be described as a hybrid of the Insert Dialog Box, the Tool Palette and Design Center, combining some of their best bits to help streamline the finding and insertion of blocks. Access to the Blocks palette can be achieved either via the Insert tab, Blocks panel here, Insert Flyout, or via the View tab, Palettes panel, Block Icon. As you can see, the palette contains three tabs. The current drawing tab will show blocks already available to this drawing, either created or inserted within it. And as you can see, the currently open drawing contains no blocks. And notice that the other tabs are also empty. This drawing, however, does contain blocks. And I will insert one. The recent tab only shows recently inserted blocks, either from this or any other drawing. And this will save time trawling through large numbers of blocks. You can even manage the number of blocks either by removing them yourself or setting a new system variable called block MRU list to any number between 0 and 100. What now becomes very useful is the fact that any recently inserted blocks also remain available to any already open drawings, as you can see here, or any created drawings, as you can see here. The block palette enables the insertion of drawing files into the current drawing, like so. The other drawing tab will then show the inserted file and any blocks contained within it. In summary, the Blocks palette replaces the Insert dialog box and adds more efficiency with regards finding and inserting multiple blocks. The new Repeat Placement option is a nice touch too, subtle and so easy to become familiar with and easy to put to use. So if I click that, repeat that, and now look what happens. I can keep on inserting that again and again. Purging in previous releases could really catch you out. You'd think you had only purged all selected items, only to find that all items had been removed. The procedure had to be very specific, and remembering it each time wasn't easy. The new and improved purge dialog box makes the process of purging a whole lot easier and intuitive, and in my opinion has been long overdue. Now when, let's say, we want to purge all purgeable layers, we select the Layers category, and it ticks all these. All I now do is say Purge Checked Items. How easy is that? Now that I can remember. Purge would also find non-purgeable items. We are informed as to possible reasons why these items cannot be purged, as well as other information may may also find it useful. For example, how many there are. We are also able to zoom into and select those items for you to decide what needs to be done to them. With some items, for example blocks, we even get a resizable preview of the to be purged item to be doubly sure it has to go. Like so. How good is that? The purge tool is also now available within the Manage tab and the new Cleanup panel. Let me begin with highlighting the changes made to the method of selecting drawings to be compared with one another. Previously, if no drawings were opened, you activated DWG Compare from the Application menu, selecting the two drawings to be compared and a third drawing was created and opened clearly indicating the differences between the two drawings. This third drawing is no longer created, but instead the differences are displayed within the first file to be selected for comparison. 
The default color coding is the same and the contextual compare tab is now a dot toolbar at the top of the drawing window. Now there is a floating settings panel available which can be pinned to remain open. This has some of the same features as before and describes the meaning of the three colors used for comparison. I'm not entirely sure these descriptions are enough and may be better to include something like the following. Red indicates modifications made to existing elements and new elements. Green indicates existing modified elements and their original location. And gray indicates elements are unchanged or identical. If both drawings are already opened, DWG Compare can now be activated from one of three locations. The application menu, Drawing Utilities, or from the ribbon via the Collaborate tab, Compare panel, or the View tab, Compare panel. Once again, after the Compare button has been selected, no third drawing is created. Instead, the first and active drawing will clearly indicate the differences between the two drawings. Now we come to the major enhancement. I have tiled the two drawings to be compared to easily demonstrate what is now achievable. We can edit the drawing whilst within a comparing state, meaning I will be informed and shown when things change. As you can see, version 1 indicates the differences between itself and version 2. I have also pinned a new floating settings panel in the center. I will now edit version 2, save it, and then activate version 1. Notice the blue notification in the bottom right corner, informing me something has changed and may need reloading. In doing so, version 1 will now update its color coding to once again indicate the differences. Now this is really quick. The Quick Dimension tool is part of the Measure Geom tool. As you can see, this drawing contains various shapes. I'm now going to demonstrate just how fast this tool measures. Notice how it measures length, angles and radii. It also measures the distance between items, but only if they contain parallel lines. The dimension size is zoom intelligent. They auto adjust according to the magnification of zoom too. Well, that concludes this AutoCAD 2020 new features video. I hope you found this video informative. Please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.